Ozzy Fox. Ehe. <laughs> Unajua kila wakati kabla nianze kipindi lazima ni wazungumzie. Ehe. <laughs> Tikiti mumeshaokota. Eh wanasema ni Eventbrite at eh eventbrite.com.auz. Eh by the way nini na na sound weird. Am I saying it right? Ah. Dot .au Correct. Eventbrite.com.au is where you grab them tickets. I love to go to Nepal Woodville Town Hall on the 29th of March 2024. Cannot wait. I'll see you. Cannot wait. Ah, nice. Ah, to go to the eventbrite.com.au. I love to onane you 29th. Sasa. Zaso sasa. Kurugenzi <laughs> My man young and stupid fresh out the kitchen yo muko fresh salama buheri wa afya i hope ina wabamba mali muko hata mimi nasikia fiti mambo iko mufti sina tashwishi yo yo tai <laughs> nice uh, leo nataka tukimbie moja kwa moja mpaka maeneo ya magharibi mwa Kenya Okay. <laughs> well, we in the room washaanza kukua nervous and anxious no 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 mambo iko sawa leo. So kwa ile county ya Trans Nzoia kuna shule iko pale eh, ni shule ya kiseminari eh, yani Catholic wameweka uzito sana pale kwa hiyo shule. Eh, and it's a high school and our main character of the story ako pale. Sitasema mwaka na nini sababu pia acha mambo ya zamani kwa ya zamani tusianze kufungua vitabu vya vitu zili happen kitambo na tusha move on all right so huyu mwanafunzi eh, ako katika kidato cha nne eh, katika shule moja iko hizo maeria za Transoia eh, amebakisha wiki kama mbili exams zianze KCSE zianze so of course ako elated over the moon unajua hiyo time eh hey, wasao sikia fit tu yani ah Hakuna pressure pressure tu ni exam na to be really honest kai mebaki wiki mbili KCSE ianze hakuna magic it happen kama ulisoma uko sawa kama huku soma shauri yako wewe ngoja tu nini ikuje uandike ile takataka utaandika hapo bas wende nyumbani uprepare kuingia eh kazi ya mkono ya shamba ya nini ukingoja ya matokeo okay eh, so wiki ni mbili zimebaki eh, kila kitu iko sawa nini nini lakini pale ndani ya shule bana kuna prefect alikuwa hapo kidogo ni kama watu wako wanamtambua sana lakini pengine ni sababu kwa hii shule prefects walikuwa na authority like ukikaa mbaya prefect anaweza kuingia mishipi proper na ni mwanafunzi mliadmitiwa in fact index number yako iko mbele ya yake unashindwa hii nguvu unatoa wapi so prefect wako wanampenda but wako class moja ah sawa tu acha waendelee na maisha so one time eh, wako pale ika semekana actually you prefect ndio alikuja na hii uh, story aliingia kwa darasa then during the announcements waga asubuhi before siku ianze kuna kuoga na ma announcements kidogo prefects wanakuaga nazo wao oh, tufanye a b c d yeah mnajua hizo class announcements na saa zingine pia wanafunzi wanapatiwa go time waseme a b c o oh, kuna shati yangu ilipotea kwa kamba such shenanigans So prefect amekuja after watu wamepiga announcements zao akakuja akasema okay namkumbuke nyinyi form 4 eh wa hii class nyinyi ndio mnaokota karatasi siju kutoka wapi hadi wapi of course hiyo kitu haikubamba watu now this is where the story ilinishangaza kidogo kuna vitu nikisikia zimefanyikia form 1 nina i can see how it happened sababu high school form 1 time yetu tukuaga na rights but form 4 Like a form 4 anapitia ngo okay anyway 
So mjamaa amesimama hapo mbele akasema mkumbuke hii darasa nyinyi form 4s wenye mmebakisha wiki mbili mtoke nyinyi ndio mnafahamu wokote sijui karatasi wapi. Of course ikakwaza jamaa fulani hapo akaamka akauliza ai wewe kwa nini sini machoko chapa tu tunashinda hapa tukio kata makaratasi na sini form 4 tunafaa kwa tukisoma. So kawaida selimwambia prefect huko kuna power fulani wako nayo lakini kumbukeni hapa imebaki wiki mbili watu waende nyumbani. So kuna chills tu fulani hatuna. Yeah. kuna chills zinapotea anga ukijua kuna mall concept au kushika na exam imebakisha wiki mbili. We don't care. So mjamaa aliamka tu akasema sisi machokoraba na ushinde ukituambia hapa tuokote makatasi. So ideally your statement hata ingekuwa na shida ingekuwa na shida sana. Makosa iliingilia pindi ambapo wale wanafunzi wengine walianza kucheka na ile vako ya kuchachisha. Unajua kuna kicheko kingine shwali you are just instigating now. Ni nini hiyo mtu amesema ina warrant wewe uanze kufanya Wewe mtu anakucheka hivyo hiyo hiyo sasa hiyo ni kukutafuta na kutafuta. Na sasa hiyo ndio ilifanya mjamaa wetu akajawa na mori. Akapandwa na asira na gadhabu mno. Akatoa kiatu akairusha teke ngori mpaka kwa ule kijana ambaye aliata hizo maneno. Huyu kijana anaata hizo maneno si huyu main character wetu. Ni jamaa tu amekaa hapo kando yake. So prefect alitoa kiatu akamtandika safi. So basically ni kama vile George Bush alitandikwa na kiatu fulani lakini difference ya George Bush na huyu kijana ni ati despite George Bush's age alikuwa na reflex. George Bush kuna vile alikacheza sia kiatu ikapita. Kijana wetu ana reflex. Kiatu ili mtandika square alikuwa uso. Yaani ushaitandikwa taafi ya uso mpaka hapa kwa lipi naandika ile namba 7 size ya kiatu huyo mjamaa. Me... Yaani ili mtandika safi. Na wadau kama umevaa taafi unajua. Taafi is not just an ordinary shoe. Taafi ni gumboot short sleeved. Ni kitu ikikutandika sawa sawa mti wangu. You will have a story to tell. Taafi ili mtandika hapa safi akaishiwa na maneno lakini hata angekuwa na maneno angeongea na mdomo gani manake imefura sasa iko karibu kushikana na mapua haizi ongea alikuwa dumbfounded tafi ilifika vile inafaa hapo ndio ile kicheko ya ule mjamaa ilikatikia sababu aliona nao okay hii ni serious business kidogo kidogo anabubujikwa e, damu ndio hiyo inaanza kutoka eh kumbe hii kitu ni serious sasa imeescalate sasa hapa ndio huyu the main character of our story aliona hata simama maovu ya kitawala akasimama akaambia prefect hii ni upuzi uweze fanyia hivi mtoto wa mtu unatandika aje mtu kiatu ya mdomo ona sasa anatoka damu na huni mtu anafanya KCC in two weeks a a hapana haitaenda hivi na kama umeamua sasa conversation tutakuwa tunazi have na kifua wacha ikuwe hivyo ala kwani we ni nani bana we kwani unalipa fee times 2 ya sisi sisi wote ni wanafunzi hapa na utatuletea hii upuzi He? ule prefect na hiyo gadhabu yote na hiyo asira akakunja mkia katikati ya mguu akakuja akakaa chini hakuongea hakusema kitu huku wanafunzi wanachachisha yes kabisa buda asimama umwambie tena but kukatulia na maisha ikaendelea sawa sawa the following day siku ikaanza tu kama kawaida morning hizo uh, morning announcements hapo mbele ya darasa then Wangoje mwalimu aingie apige lesson ya kwanza. Idea alikuwa mwalimu alikuwa anafaa achungulia hapo hiyo siku eh, ilikuwa ni class teacher. But class teacher on this particular day alikuwa anakimbiza morning mass kwa girls school ambayo iko kando yao. So huwa anakimbia huko anakimbiza mass, mass ikiisha anarudi huku anaendelea na na lessons na wanafunzi. So si tumeanza na zile announcement zetu za useless. The prefect has nothing to say. Ah in fact hata hajasimama ako kwa kiti eh amekaa. Wale wako na announcement ndio hao wako pale mbele. Maze tunazoea najo kuna kijiko yangu bana sioni na unajua hiyo kijiko tumetoana nayo mbali utaniibia kijiko nimetoka nayo form 2. Bana hiyo ni laana unajitafutia maze tulikuwa na announcement zingine za upuzi pia sisi. So watu wamepiga announcement zao nini na announcement zikaisha na kila mtu akakaa chini. Prefect wetu hajasimama. Jua na announcement vile tu ametulia darasa imenyamaza ule class teacher amemaliza shughuli zake huko kwa girls school ameletwa sh- eh, boys school ameingia amekuja teketeke kama ameingia darasa ndio waanze activity of the day immediately huyo madam aliingia kwa mlango hivi prefect akakumbuka akona announcement akasimama 
Wacha prefect akuwe victim. Wacha aseme amegundua anasoma na assassins. Watu wanataka kumuua. Anajua mumempangia mob justice lakini Mungu atakubali. Hey, 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 shule ya kanisa ukianza kuingiza mambo ya Mungu akusaidie, hiyo sasa inakuwa ni serious case. Of course class teacher akashtuka, akashindwa nani wao wanataka kumaliza. Aka point akasema ule kijana amenitishia mbele ya watu hapa jana asubuhi. Amesema maneno hapa mimi hata sijui ninapumua aje 24 hours later. Nafaa kuwa nimeenda kulingana na ile vitu huyu mtu aliongea, hanipangii mazuri. Hey, class teacher kasikia the level of violence huyu jamaa anaongea akasema hapana that one we shall not tolerate wewe ambaye umeamua kukuwa Jean Claude Van Damme amka twende pale kwa office staff room ka hapo uningoje nikuje sasa tujadiliane tujue hii career yako ya wrestling unataka tukusaidie aje akapelekwa staff room na class teacher akafanya mambo yake class teacher kumfuata huko kijana si anajua hii ni kitu ya chap chap utachunu watu kofi moja na uambiwe go back to class. Class teacher akamwambia sasa wewe sababu umeamua unataka kukuwa mercenary itabidi nikutume nyumbani. Lazima nikutume kwa mzee eh uende umwambie kila in fact better yet sikutumi. Utakaa hapa nimepigia mzee hakuje ndio tu discuss ni nini unataka kati ya masomo na miereka unataka gani <laughs> Na huyu kijana anasema baba yake ni hatari Number one, baba yake pia ni mwalimu Na yeye ikifika ni masomo sawa ikifika pia ni mkono He ako safi The father made it very clear kwa phone call wakati class teacher alimwambia kuja to discuss kijana wako anataka kukuwa Bruce Lee Baba akamwambia very nice napenda hao wenye wanataka vita. In fact, mwambie sikuji hapo kama mzazi wake na kuja hapo kama mwalimu mwingine. Tupampane. Eh, aningoje hapo na kuja. Jamaa akasikia ripoti imefikishiwa mzee akajiambia uongo mbaya. Angefaa tu akae wa discuss kama wanaume. Lakini ilikuwa a case of between fight or flight akaamua fight nimemalizana nayo. It's time to fly. Alitoka hiyo staff room bio ingine haijawahi onekana. Sasa hiyo class teacher ameingia sijui maofisi gani hapo akijaribu kufanya fanya shughuli zake as anangoja mzee akuje baba ya huyu kijana. Kijana akadiscover kuna kidato cha tatu wa form 3 wameenda kwa mashamba zao huko kuangalia project ya ngirigasha imefika wapi. Akaona hao ndio sasa watu nataka ni interact nao sawa sawa. Manake uko mahali school farm iko, hakuna fence. So wakiingia pale kwa maindi 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 kidogo kidogo, ako nje ya shule, ameondokea. Alikuwa ameamua this is it, masomo yangu nimefika hapo. Akafuata form 3s wakaingia kwa mashamba zao za maindi maindi, akapima mapima akaona ah ma villagers wako pale wanapiga shughuli zao, akaenda akavuka hiyo akatoka nje ya shule, akaingia kwa village na akapotea. Alikuwa shapanga maisha yake yote. Uh, ile pocket money yako nayo kwa mfuko na kabaga alikuwa ameenda akachukua ameweka kwa mgongo ndio anaenda kuanza maisha nayo town. Lakini sababu wako mahali hapo Tanzania, hiyo town ya hapo pengine imbambi sana, anataka apige safari gumosi gupili mpaka capital city ya Wasingishu, mahali panaitwa Eldoret. Huko ndio anaenda kuanzia maisha. Very nice. Akaingia vichakani teke 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 amejipata wapi town uh, hapo eh, hii town ya Tanzania inaitwa nini? Kitale. Pale Kitale ameenda ameangalia gari ya Eldoret amepata Eldoret ni one and a half hours kutoka hapo Kitale. Ameingia amkimbia teke teke mpaka wapi Kitale. Lakini kumbukeni huyu jamaa amevaa uniform E, e uniform inachoma na ni mtu wako na pocket money ah very fast akaingia kwa duka akanunua sweatpants na shati ya Versace huyu ni mtu wenye anajua the good life ukiona mtu anakimbilia shati ya Versace ah huyu ni mtu amejipanga na ako na pesa ya kumlast a lifetime akiwa hapo Eldoret akapiga Versace yake akapiga traki then akarudishiwa change ndio ikam hit mbele nyuma yeye na Eldoret town ako na shilingi 280. Hiyo ndio pesa inafaa ianze maisha hapo town. Akajiuliza amefanya nini yake? Na ni kama Mungu anakuaga pia na njia tu za kukukumbusha na kukuonyesha ya kwamba you have done something absolutely and terribly wrong. Nataka nikuonyeshe wewe vile umegonga nje leo. 
akafungua mawingu mvua ikamwagika hapo ya kimataifa sasa ile shati ya Versace alikuwa amevaa haiwezi msaidia akona pesa ya kununua jacket oh, oh ulimpatia hakuwa na option ila kurudi kwa bag atoe ile hudi ambayo wako nayo unfortunately for the guy hudi imeandikwa jina ya shule St Augustinus <laughs> okay ni jina nime guess just like kusema the actual name yeah na logo mwenye aliweka ni kama alilipwa dabo he logo unaweza isoma ukiwa huko kilomita tatu wawe amepiga bonge la logo hapa kwa hiki kitu unaiona kwa mbali but sababu mvua iko hapa inammaliza hakuwa na option akavaa na akakaa chini mahali angoje mvua ikatike ndio ajue the next uh, cause of action i think after ameka hapa mvua ikinyesha pale Eldoret ndio come hit hapa uongo mbaya siwezi anza maisha hapa nitakufa mtoto wa high school njaa itanitandika hapa next meal nikikosa ni hivyo kazi kuisha wacha tu nifanye aje niende nyumbani nikabiliane na baba yangu sababu huyo ndio mtu ananinyima usingizi nikimalizana na yeye maisha irudi normal at least nitakuwa na roof over my head na food in my tummy so akajiambia ni sawa wacha sasa nianze kurudi towards stage ya kurudi kitale kumbuka ni kutoka Eldoret kurudi kitale ni 1 and a half hours alido hepa shule kitu sijui saa 4 saa 5 saa hii saa nane. mvua anapambana nayo akielekea kwa stage inanyesha deadly turns out hiyo siku Eldoret kulikuwa na function ya Catholic na wakati Catholic wako na function mashule ambazo ni za, za, unajua Catholic wako na mashule mob sana hata shule yake ni ya a Catholic school hizo mashule huwa zinakutana pale seminary wapi e, cathedral kwa cathedral pale Eldoret town kuna bishop ako pale e, ni maremu aliaga alikuwa anaitwa bishop Ah hiyo hiyo wacheni ni confirm guys. Aliaga hapo Eldoret. Um... <laughs> Hell, in the meantime nikitafuta mnaweza kuwa mnagonga hiyo subscription hapo. Ndio kijana sikae mbaya in Nairobi. Eh, hit the subscribe button guys as I confirm for you. Korir. Yes, umepata hiyo jina yake ya kwanza? Hapana. Ah, ni Bishop tu Korir eh? Ah, mimi nilikuwa na zote mbili men. Wacha niangalie. Uh, Cornelius. Uh, Cornelius Corir I think eh? Yeah. Eh yeah, Bishop Corir maze aliaga lakini. Eh yeah. yeah, alipass. So yeah, yeye ndio alikuwa champ, yeye ndio alikuwa dosa hapo kwa hiyo hiyo cathedral. So rudi rud, hapa Eldoret au mjamaa anataka kwenda wapi kwa stage ya kitale. Lakini hii siku kuna activity pale pale Katho. Eh Eldoret town. So mashule Catholic schools ziko area. In fact, wamefanya mpaka kumekuwa na traffic nyingine Eldoret ya kimataifa. Keep in mind pia kuna nyesha. So more reason why there was traffic on this particular day. So as the boy is walking towards the stage ya kuchukua gari za kitale, aende kwao sababu wanaishi huko kitale pia mahali karibu na mahali anasomea. Akaingia katikati ya magari mbili. So unajua kwa jam vile unajaribu ingi kujisqueeze ndani katikati ya magari. So akiwa katikati hapo akajipata kwa blind spot ya school bus ya a certain girl school. So dereva mwenye yako kwa wheel hamuoni sababu basi ni bigi mjamaa yako mahali huku aonekani. Dereva akapata ah kuna kana nafasi hapa naweza jaribu ku overlap wacha wacha ni ibe line hapa teke teke. Haoni kuna mtu kwa blind spot yake. So akawachilia clutch teke teke akikata towards mahali ameona nini? Nafasi. Kumbe mjamaa kwa hapa chini anajaribu kujisqueeze katikati ya magari mbili. Akakatandikwa safi. Unajua ile ile push fit hiyo basi ikipiga hiki kitu. <laughs> Inakutandikaga sawa sawa akagongeshwa kwa hii gari nyingine alafu akaanguka hapo kwa lami. Boom. Sasa kwa hiyo basi hapa juu si ndio madirisha ziko passengers kuna madam ako hapa ni principal wa hii shule anamuona <laughs> akapiga nduru ai dereva ngoja oi 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 tu tumegonga mto, mtoto wa mtu dereva akakula emergency principal akashuka basi akakuja akapata kijana na logo <laughs> inatoshana hivi kwa shati akashindwa wait hii shule yako naijua kijana ni ya kitale first of all unafanya nini Eldoret pole sana akamuamsha na sisi sawaezi ongelea hapa kwa barabara akamuingiza kwa basi ya nani hii girl school kwanza kijana akapona sababu in two months hajaona wasichana warembo hivyo 
ametoka kwa pure boy school na niita mtatu tam 3 ya KCSE hakunaga activity shule unaonaga tu mandume kutoka opening day mpaka upige exam yako ya mwisho sasa ameingizwa kwa girl school hapa ah, wasichana wamejipaka mafuta wana meta meta proper wanakaa ni kama wamekaangwa asubuhi yani anashinda oh my gosh Yaani such flowers exist. Hawa ni malaika hawa. Kwanza akapona kidogo hizo injari kidogo alikuwa nazo, akawekwa hapa kando ya principal. Principal akaanza kumhoji. Eh eh, umetoka wapi? Unafanya nini Eldoret? Shule yenu iko almost two hours away. Umekuja kufanya nini huku? Haku all back. Alimusimulia proper. Kutoka kwa ile announcement ya mnionea kijiko mpaka mtu akakula kiatu ya mdomo mpaka akasafirishwa kwa staff room mwalimu akaita Hitler ambaye ni baba yake kijana akaona hata ngojea Hitler akafanya nini akatoka bio Story yote akaiweka kwa meza principal akamwambia usijali hivi tunaenda pale cathedral si unaona tutakuwa na kongamano ya mashule nyingi za catholic pale Tukiwa pale cathedral hatuwezi kosa mtu tunaweza pigia simu afanye nini akusaidie wakaandamana principal yeye na kikosi cha mabebe mpaka kwa hiyo cathedral ya hapo Eldoret town wakaingia kwa cathedral ndani eh, principal akamshika wakaambatana gumosi gupili wakaenda mpaka kwa one of the officials huko kwa cathedral wakamsimulia hiyo hadithi yote ya ukijana Huyo official akawaambia sasa mtu anaweza wasaidia hapa ni Mudos ambaye ni nani ni Bishop Korir. Huo ndio atatutoa kwa ngori hapa. But ako kwa mkutano mupatieni dakika chache tu amalize hiyo mkutano alafu akuje asikize kijana. Bas. Kijana akaambiwa we tulia hapa wacha askofu amalize mkutano alafu mtaongea. Eh hey, akabangaiza ni kuangalia tu warembo huko nini anasikia poa. Askofu akamaliza mkutano. Akakuja akaambiwa eh kuna kijana ako hapa ametoka saint fulani fulani iko huko kitale e, na amekuwa na hitilaf kangori kadogo tu e, kumekuwa na mzozano akaamua kuhepa na amechukua gari akakuja all the way mpaka Eldoret hapa ndio amebadilishia mawazo sasa anataka tukurudi ah jamaa akamwambia ina mambo Ah, in fact hata mwalimu mkuu uko na mtambua ni rafiki yangu wacha nipige simu mahali hapo tusaidike askofu kumbe ni mtu wa design akupigia principal alipiga tu kwa shule direct so of course mwenye alishika si ni admin or something admin akaulizwa kuna class teacher anaitwa fulani 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 ni nan eh naweza ongea na yeye mimi ni askofu kutoka nini ah so of course mwenye admin akafikiria ni mambo tu ya kikanisa kanisa aka connect eh, bishop korir na class teacher class teacher akapigiwa simu akaambiwa sasa niko na kijana wako ako hapa na mimi eldoret na nataka ni facilitate rudisha huyu kijana shule haraka iwezekanavyo class teacher kwambia in fact kijana ame overreact akuku hata na hiyo ngori anafikiria ilikuwa ilikuwa tu nimpige time out kidogo tuongee arudi kwa darasa mwambie arudi na sijali mimi niko na yeye asikuwa na wasiwasi hata kidogo wada unataka tukule pause hapo we shall revisit eldoret in a bit Let us go back to Kitale. Kumbukeni mzee alikuwa ashapigiwa simu akaambiwa nini? Kijana ako hapa ameamua yeye sasa ni Jean-Claude Van Damme anataka kumaliza kila mtu hapa shule. Kuja tu deal na yeye. Mzee by the time anafika shule Kitale. Kijana amewacha kuwa Jean-Claude Van Damme amekuwa nani? Omanyala. Eh ni Omanyala amesharuka fence amechangamka. Sasa mwalimu haezi ambia mzazi tumepoteza mtoto wako sababu ametafuta huu mtoto shule mzima apat, apatikani. Huu kijana akivuka fence aliambia tu marafiki zake wanne. Nimevuka fence mtu yote akiwauliza mali niko semeni hamuna habari ya mjui. So hata mwalimu vile alikuja kujaribu ku nini nothing hakuna mtu aliongea. So amepoteza mtoto. Vile mzee alikuja class teacher akamalizana na yeye huko kwa gate akamwambia ah pole hata tumekuita prematurely tumepata ilikuwa tu ni kangori kidogo but tumesuluhisha in fact as we speak kijana ako kwa darasa na wanafanya matiani fulani so tusimsumbue you just go back eh, mambo iko sawa aha tutoke hapo kitale turudi sasa Eldoret tena si bishop ameshaongea na class teacher 
akaambia class teacher kijana anakuja uhakikishe umemchukua hapo town muingize shule na asisumbuliwe class teacher akamwambia iko sawa say less in fact mpatie simu nizungumze na eda kama moja e, korir e, askofu akapatia kijana simu aongee na class teacher kijana akadiscover ni kama class teacher ile pande nyingine ameingiza baridi kidogo Unajua mtoto ukimupatia ni nchi moja atachukua kilomita mbili. Na kwambia alifurahia huyo class teacher. Ay, 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 ay. Wacha kijana afure. Akatae mambo ya class teacher amwambie in fact ni mama tu niende nyumbani huko mna ni subject to things that are not fit for humans. Mm, Niko mbaya class teacher mimi I feel trauma. No skin PTSD imeni why sababu zile vitu mnanipitisha hiyo shule class teacher na bega na mwambia wewe kutoka saa hii mpaka utoke huko kwa mikono yangu hakuna mtu atakusumbua please boy ye guy ka baba rudi tu please come nitaka special diet na kama simu akarudishia skofu kaambiwa sawa kabla uende kwa gari unasikia aje akaambia niko njaa sijakula haki hiyo shule tunaumia askofwe 1000 shillings ikatoka kaambiwa e, kuna shilingi 650 hapo cheza nayo ma vitu vitu zako hapo nini na ulipe ka transport ni sana mpaka mahali unaenda haijafika hata 300 then 350 yako ya kuokota okota tu vitu ambazo zinakufurahisha e, kuna huyu ofisio wangu hapa atakupeleka mahali ukae chini uitishe ile kitu yote unataka ukitaka kukula ugali na ugali ingine ndogo kula like anything unataka you ask wewe kula tuachie mambo ya bill na nini hey, kijana alikaa hapo akavuruga unakula nyama kubwa na kanyama kadogo kama ka, kitoe yani mambo safi akamaliza maankuli e, wakaagana kwa heri na ule principal alimtoa wa ile shule fulani ya wasichana na akaaga official kwa heri Ak, no hakuna kumwaga ni apelekwe mpaka kwa stage yake akahakikisha akahakikisha amefika kwa stage amepanda gari ya kitale na wakaambia dereva huyo mtu akishuka tu hivi mahand over kwa class teacher wake mtampata hapo kitale tau alafu e, wa uendelee na shughuli dereva akasema iko sawa hiyo kijana akaingia akawekwa hapa kwa hii kiti ya co-driver hapa kwa dereva akaenda soft life back to kitale but kumbukeni kuna nyesha ni usiku sasa by the time amalize hizi shughuli zote anatoka dini karibu 5 ama 6 jioni Baraba, eh, safari na five mchukue wana na half hours juu ya traffic ili end up kuchukua karibu 3 hours. So by the time huyu jamaa anafika Kitale ni karibu saa tatu ya usiku. So alikuwa na a lot of time kuponda and to meditate hapa kwa barabara kajiuliza na saa nisha execute yote niende tu shule. Ah si hata niingie hapo nyumbani nione kama mama amepika chapati zake ni onje onje kidogo alafu mzee tumalizane ndio nikienda shule nisikue na deni. Sasa hii nikienda shule straight nitakuwa na deni na staki wacha niende nimalizane na na mzee kwa nini anafanya hivi sababu makosa ilifanyika mnakumbuka pale shule mwalimu aliambia mzee we enda hakuna ngori kila kitu iko sawa tumesuluhisha kijana ako wapi ako kwa darasa oh pale askofu vile alimaliza kuongea na teacher the second phone call ilikuwa kwa baba ya kijana so baba amepata ripoti ya kwamba mtoto wake hata hayuko Kitale town ako Eldoret kwa cathedral ya mtu huko amebangaiza na ametoka shule a few hours ago akaambiwa kijana ako fit in fact ako class so anashindwa wamendanganya kwa nini akapiga simu kwanza shule akavuruga class teacher hapo kidogo but uh, wakasikizana uh, akamwambia asha sort kijana anakuja straight kwa mikono zake so mzee aliambiwa na class teacher sijali the boy is coming So kijana sasa unaona askofu washapigia mzee. Sasa hii story shafika nyumbani anyway. Ah, akamwacha tu niende nimalizane na mzee. Bas, nifunge deni hapo ndio niende shule nifanye nini mtihani. So akafika kitale kitu saa tatu siku, akauliza dereva, "Oya, utangoja class teacher ama utaendelea na squad?" Mimi unajua nikiwa hapa niko nyumbani, mimi nitafika tu. Ah, dereva akaona yeye wewe na unaka mtu mkubwa wewe ukaikupotea town. Ah, sawa, wewe shuka enda. Kijana akashuka, 
kachukua pikipiki haraka faster mpaka nyumbani of course anafika huko anapata mzaa yeye ako area anapita straight teketeke hata hakuna salamu straight mpaka kwa bedroom naenda anajifungia hapo anapatiwa chakula huko anakula asubuhi anaamka mapema mapema siya, anatoka na mama yake anaenda mpaka wapi shule minimal interaction na mzee mzee naye amemwata hata mguza amewachana na yeye so wakatoka nyumbani wakaingia hapo tao teketeke straight mpaka shule wakaenda wakapigia class teacher class teacher akawakujia kwa gate pale kwa gate class teacher akaona kijana akamwambia we kwanza ingia kwa darasa sitaki hata mambo yako enda kwa class wakabaki hapo wakibembelezana na mama eh, of course wakakuja wakasikizana mama akarudi nyumbani then mwalimu akaenda akafuata kijana na wakaeka mikakati kwa meza let me just say for those two weeks za exam kijana aliishi kama mufalume <laughs> Aliishi maisha ambayo very few people wanaishi town alifurahi hizo wiki mbili za mtihani i hope alipita sababu hata nyumbani kuna watu hawaishigi hivyo yeah so akapiga mtihani akamaliza na kijana akapita e, saa hii ni mtu hata anapiga university au karibu kumaliza in fact that is kama hajamaliza yeah na hapo ndio story yake inaishia yani ngori kidogo inaweza fanya mtu wa overreact lakini ukikaa chini in hindsight ufikirie all the other possible avenues ambazo ungepitia una discover ga wewe ni mtu saa nyingine akili unatumia kama kofia like huyu jamaa ange maintain tu angoje mzee akuje wamalizane na hiyo story ishe kuliko sasa Eldoret unaenda kufanya nini na pesa yako takriban shilingi 280 ni maisha gani yeye unataka kuwa Ah, wacha tu tuseme at least alirudi na t-shirt ya Versace. Mm. Koshua aliwatesa nayo university mbaya. <laughs> hapo sawa basi wacha tufungie hapo wadau imekuwa true to nane katika kipindi kijacho cha Minisod Sabal Harry. Mashallah. <laughs> Adios muchachos guys. Peace. <laughs> Aya, wacha tufunge simu basi. Hapo kashata. Yo